Hey there, we're in the greenhouse. Take a look at our raspberry shortcake. That's looking fantastic. And our blackberry baby cakes, both are meant for inside a greenhouse. Just like Alan, Alien Allen's are meant for inside a greenhouse. He hurt his back, so he's has off today. And I'm eating lunch. <laughs> our blueberries are popping. And also our first seeds we planted, we got some French breakfast radish, looking fantastic. We'll be thinning those in a day or so. We'll show you how to do that. Here's some blue scotch kale popping in just five days. We got some lettuces coming up, but they're a little leggy. Um, and they were back on this back wall. So anything above here, we really can't be sprouting seeds. Maybe we can do that a little below here. Also, we got this amazing peach flowering that we're going to have to uh, leaf out in here until we can plant it late in June outside. And I got both doors open in hopes that some pollinators will come in here, or some of our bees, and get this done. Now, I've been coming in here and just flicking around some of the flowers. I haven't really looked into if I'm doing anything at all here, but it can't hurt. Bring out here. And show you what we were doing this morning. Well, first, let me show you my shirt. <laughs> you can see there some hydraulic fluids. And so we had Big Blue out, out in the front yard. And Big Gray, the dump trailer. And we were moving some loads. We probably moved 30,000 pounds of stone in about an hour or two which would cost a lot of money if you didn't have equipment. Now the equipment costs a lot of money, but when you have problems, like you need to fix your road, you don't have to get a $600 load of stuff delivered and then pay some other guy to spread it. It just took us two hours this morning. So what I'm gonna do is start to fix the road here with these piles. And this comes from near the river which is mostly river jacks and sand, which is really good road base. The mud, not so good. And anywhere we build it up with those river jacks, you can see it up there. This whole road is the front yard. So I'm gonna be spreading that. I got a big pile up there and I'm gonna be fixing these potholes. I also have some good news. I went and purchased a, uh, a shaper planer of our own. <coughs> and it was a pretty penny, but I've been saving up for this. Plus, I'm doing good on crypto. So it's worth the investment. It was $2,300, which tapped me out for the month. But it's worth it because we have all this amazing lumber that we got. And all the wood you're looking at here was under $100. And the price of wood today is just ridiculous. So we have tons and tons of raw, rough cut wood. For any trim work that we need to do in the future. And this is some one by four. You could do furniture work, countertops and stuff with that. All kind of stuff. So just unlimited resources here. And we have hundreds of pieces of this. So by getting that planer, we then now have an opportunity to make our own wood. I don't have to go over to Dennis's. And then we have our own mill and our own forest. So we can start milling our own wood. And that's the plan there. Uh, yeah, let me leave you with one other thing. This is our chipper. It takes logs up to like 10, 11 inches. Runs on our 42 horsepower PTO on our tractor. And this is another resource. I think I've shown you the, uh, the chips when we went and got them. Here they are dumped here. And it's amazing how many chips we go through in a year in the orchard. It just eats it up. And that's what's forming our soils here. And let me just bring you in here. And show you that the first thing that sprouts here in this area is the Purple Mountain Spinach. And it is pretty prolific here, a little thick. But that's what's coming up, the Purple Mountain Spinach. 
Hope you got something out of the video. Thanks for watching. We always appreciate you tagging along. And I like to keep you guys updated. It's going to be interesting is that last year, Alan and I planted like 50 fruit-bearing shrubs and trees along the fence here. And we've never had really great success. So interesting to see how they develop this year. Also, we're really planting lots of trees. Two and three-year-old trees. So interesting to see how that works out. Follow us along on our journey to self-reliance, self-sufficiency, as the shit hits the fan, one turd at a time. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons, the people that share these videos. Be safe. We love you. That's a bow.